Whenever I play these instruments, I'm immediately in a zen flow state. It sounds great, and the way that it's cut works so that without any kind of musical background or any predetermined idea of what I want to play, I'm just making music within seconds. Each instrument is tuned to a particular scale so that whatever note you play sounds good with other notes. Any skilled piano player, when they're playing piano, they're playing a scale, and they might move to another scale, but that's how music is structured. And so I hand tune each note with a hacksaw to make sure each particular note is cut to the exact frequency that matches with that scale. And I'll place the notes accordingly on the drum so that when you hit one note, you hit the ones next to it. So I listen to the music in each drum, and then I paint it in a way that's harmonious with the sounds that it creates. I paint a similar vibe, similar colors to the energy of the drum. So if it's like a darker, more mysterious scale, we'll have darker colors going on and more contrast. If it's something more light and uplifting, there'll be brighter tones and a more relaxed feel in the paint job. I'm a fiend for finding new stencils, and I make some of my own too. And so I make a lot of stencils out of Honestly, just items that are thrown in the trash and things that would otherwise be destined to a landfill like a broken food dehydrator or other various plastic materials. So I'll use stencils in an arrangement that works with what the drum wants to sing and I'll do certain kind of designs that play with that energy and work with the certain color combinations I have going on. And it's really important for me to put this level of caliber into the painting process because I think that's a huge part in what inspires people to play great music. I'm Jameson. I make genius drums, which are a kind of beautiful, melodic steel instrument. And I love doing what I do because I get to make sure that there's more music